hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i will be doing a makeup tutorial on this very beautiful flawless look that you're seeing here by the way just a disclaimer none of these photos that you're seeing here have been edited retouched in any way this is natural sunlight shining on a natural look so i do hope you guys enjoy this video please click that like and subscribe button and thanks so much for watching all right so to get right into it i did my brows i had i had recorded it however due to the fact that the video was longer than what i wanted it which is which is something less than less than 12 minutes i had to edit out the brows out of the video but anyways so today what i will be doing is a full concealer look and i'll be using the juvia space product so what you're seeing here is in my t-zone which is where you would normally highlight i am placing the juvia's place number 10 concealer now for contour i will be using the juvia's place shade stick which is a multi-purpose shade stick it's used to conceal as well as it can be used as a foundation so i'm using the shade stick to contour and i'm using two shades the lighter shade that i'm using is called tunisia and the other is called Katsina. And now for below below the contoured area, I will be using number eight Juvia's Place Liquid Concealer. So all these colors now will be all blended out. So I'm going in with the concealer brush just to blend out the edges of the concealer in my highlighted area. Once I've blend out the edges of that concealer i'll be going in with a beauty blender a real technique beauty blender to buff out the foundation just to fully blend out the foundation now the sponge is recommended because this is a liquid concealer that we're using and it will help to not just dry up the product but to help to give you a flawless finish so as you can see i'm going over my um i'm going over my eyelids as well as i'm blending out the concealer within my t-zone so i'm blending out the concealer under my eyes and i'm taking that above to my eyelids just to get that full sculpted highlighted t-zone look that i desire here now this takes real time now you have to blend out all these concealers in the designated areas and to do so it takes time because you want a flawless finish and to get that you have to continue blending blend like your life depend on it just kidding <laughs> but on a real note blending is essential it's very essential i know this looks a little scary but you just have to trust the process you have to really trust the process the process will get you to the desired look that you want like literally will so this is my contour brush here that i'm using in from the zoria um brush set and i'm just blending out that contour now the beauty blender will be used in multiple cases so you see how i blended out the t-zone and then i'm going back in i'll continue to go back in until i believe it's giving me that the desired finish and we don't want any harsh lines so i've blended out all of it and as you can see here it looks pretty good but what i'm going to do is to finish up my contour i'll be um, darkening that contour on my cheek under my cheekbone and i'm going on my forehead my forehead as well <laughs> forehead <laughs> forehead is such a wicked word <laughs> So my forehead, my cheekbones, and my chin. So now that I've blended out the contour, what I'm going to do is to set that contour shade using the 375 Fit Me press powder. And I'm just going over the areas that I've contoured. And I'm just adding that there. So this is not where it ends for our contour. We would be darkening that up just a bit more. With some powder so i'm just putting that powder over just to set the contour so as you can see guys it's already looking real good you know we want a matte finish so we're going to go over all of this with some powder 
but um from at the beginning though you know you want a primary face but i use the primary face at the beginning after i finish my my eyebrows what i used to prime my face was the um maybelline stay matte primer and i wiped that all over my face i gave it a second just to fully dry and then i went in with the concealer to start the process now in all honesty i would say that i prefer this concealer look over foundation and concealer it's really lightweight it feels as if you don't have anything on your face like my pores was breathing it was still breathing despite having product on my face i felt my pores could breathe just the same now it's real good to use concealer to do your makeup because not only it gives a semi full coverage look it feels lightweight so what i'm doing now is to go in with some pressed powder in my shade so i'm using the jordana press powder press press powder and i'm using this in my shade so i'm gonna go within i'm going to go over with the jordana powder before going in with the sasha so now what you're seeing here is me going in with the sasha buttercup setting powder and what i'm what you want to do is to press it in for the best finish you want to press the powder in then you bake now as you can see i'm pressing the powder in my t-zoned area i'm going under my eyes i'll be going on my chin my nose and my forehead just to press that powder in i'll also be going around my smile line to press it in so all the areas that you see where i blended the concealer i'll be going over with i blended i blended my highlighted concealer which is the Juvia's face number 10 i'm going in with the powder just to press that in so once it's pressed in now i'm gonna start off with the setting and i'll be setting there as well as under my eyes so you just want to rest um a portion of the powder under your eyes and wherever you want to bake basically you set that powder and you leave it there while you finish up other parts of your makeup so you just leave it there for a bit and as you guys can see it's already mattifying my face it's looking good better and we're going on so what as you can see earlier what i did was to use the 370 the fit me 375 um powder forgive me with all the arms i'm just trying to remember the products that i use as i'm going in over my head with <laughs> I'm trying to remember the products out of my head. So, excuse the ums. So, as you can see here, I powder contour. I powder contour my nose. Now, this is me using the CoverGirl Full, Spec Full Spectrum Bronzer to finish up that contour. And I went on under my cheekbone, my forehead, and my chin. All the places that I had placed the contour shade earlier, that's where I went. Now to get that face snatch, I went and I just add some powder under the contour. You know, just to get that face looking snatched. <laughs> you guys get it. So now I'm going to struggle with my eyelashes. If I should tell you guys how long I've been trying to put on eyelashes. Well, not in this video. This video was one trial, but in my entire life, I've always had issues with eyelashes putting on eyelashes it's not until january that i learned that i was able to put it on not that i learned because i've been trying i don't know what luck caused it to happen but it happened so you know anyway so i sprayed i applied the lashes and i sprayed my face with some nyx matte spray setting spray and uh, i'm just pressing the spray in so that will also help to give you a flawless finish you spray your face with your setting spray you use your beauty blender sponge and to slightly just press the the spray in it helps to give you this amazing flawless look so i'm adding highlight and blush here some lip liner and my regular nude lipstick like i don't know <laughs> This was a nude look. It was a nude look, so I did nude lips. Like I sometimes I just can't help myself. I love nude lips. And of lately I've been not too much liking matte lips. I used to love matte lips, but not too much lately. Like I don't know. 
Anyways, I had some blush. This is my first time using blush still. I've had the palette, the same health blush palette, and I haven't used it before. This is my first time using it. And literally, I almost regret it. Like, after I put it on, I almost regret it. I'm not a blush person. I really am not. I'm more of that highlight glue girl. Like, I love to shine. <laughs> Apparently, you know, my makeup is not complete if I don't have on highlights. But blush, I definitely can do without. But I put it on, I immediately started to regret it, but eventually I grew to like it. You know, I grew to like it. The blush ain't so bad. But you guys, highlight, um, the highlight is optional just as much as the blush is optional. But as you guys can see here, this look is absolutely gorgeous. There is no added filter to the video. And there's no added filter to any of the photos that I post after the video. Like, I know you guys are seeing this. Like, oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. So flawless. So natural. Like, it's amazing. Like, honestly. I did miss some eyeshadows. I wanted it to look extra natu natural. So I went without the eyeshadows. But I'll definitely be doing eyeshadows on my next video. So I'm just lining my eyelids just right above where the lashes are just to have them fully blend in. So, so basically I'm done. Off camera I'm just going to fix up my brows. And here it is when I'm through fixing it up. You know when you're putting on your foundation or concealer sometimes you can just slightly smudge your brows. So I went off camera just to finish fixing them up so beautiful thank you guys so much for watching bye